In this tutorial, I will be using McCartan with a 3.5mm hook, scissors, yarn needle and stitch marker, 3mm eyes and glue, and fold, and lastly some stuffing. For these three characters, please watch my previous tutorial or click the top right corner because their face pattern is different from the rest. For these characters, they have the same face base and now I will start the tutorial with their face pattern. Let's start off by making the magic ring. Wrap the yarn around your fingers like this. Wrap, wrap it till the other end and hold it with your middle finger. Then insert your hook like this and pull the second loop to the front and twist it. After that, yarn over and pull through the loop and make one chain. Then after that, remove the ring and let's start round 1. For round 1, you will have to make single crochets. So to make single crochet, insert your hook into the ring, pull the yarn, yarn over and pull through the two loops and you got one single crochet. For round 1, you will have to make a total of 8 single crochets. When you finished making 8 single crochets, pull the tail and the ring will be closed. And then after that, let's start round 2. For round 2, you will have to make increased stitches in each stitch. So to start round 2, make a very first single crochet like this. Then put a stitch marker on that stitch so you will not lose the track of round 2. To make an increased stitch, make another one in the same stitch or the same hole and you will get 2 single crochets. And that becomes an increased stitch. So for round 2, repeat making 2 single crochets in each stitch. And when you reach the stitch marker, you will get a total of 16 stitches. So now you reach the start point, so remove the stitch marker and let's start round 3. Make the very first single crochet of round 3 first. And then after that put a stitch marker on that stitch so you will not lose the track of round 3. For round 3 you will have to make one single crochet and we just made it. And after that you will have to make an increased stitch into the next stitch. So to make an increased stitch, make 2 single crochets in the same stitch. So you repeat this pattern for one time. And you will have to repeat this pattern which is 1 single crochet and an increase for 8 times in total. So make a single crochet and then after that make an increased stitch into the next stitch. Repeat this pattern until you reach the start point and you will get a total of 24 single crochets. For round 4, you will have to make half double crochets into each stitch. To make a half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull the yarn and you got 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all 3 loops and you got 1 half double crochet. So just make 1 half double crochet into every stitch. And when you reach the stitch marker, you will get a total of 24 half double crochets. So now the face pattern is finished. So leave a long tail for sewing. And then make another one by repeating round 1 to round 4. But for the second one, you don't need to leave a long tail for sewing. When you finished making two coasters like this, and here this is the wrong side, you will see like this. Put the wrong side inside. So here if you can see like this, this is the wrong side, put the wrong side inside. And also the tails, put the tails inside. And let's start sewing these two together by using a yarn needle.
So this is how I sew the two appliques together, but you can use any kinds of sewing ways you want. Also, when you are sewing, don't forget to fill in the inside a lot until it becomes really stiff and then sew until you reach the start point. And here, this is how I secure the yarn. I make a slip stitch and I hide the yarn inside the amigurumi. So when you're gonna make pom pom purine, choco cat, cinnamon roll, my melody, and kuromi, please use this face pattern. And now let's start making the ears. Repeat round one. Make eight single crochets into the magic ring. And for round two, make eight single crochets without any increases. Just make one single crochet in one stitch, in every stitch. And this ear pattern is for Choco Cat, Pum Pum Ring, Cinnamon Roll, and also my melody. For round 3, make single crochets in the next 2 stitches. Here, 1 single crochet. And then another single crochet into the next stitch. And then after that, we will make a decrease stitch. To make a decrease stitch, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull the yarn, and again insert your hook into the next stitch, pull the yarn, you got three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops, and you got one decrease stitch. And then after that, make single crochets in the next two stitches, and lastly make a decrease stitch after round 3 make 6 single crochets for round 4 and also for round 5 make 6 single crochets that means you will have to make a single crochet into every stitches without any decreases and for the cinnamon roll please add 2 more single crochet each stitch rounds because the cinnamon rose ears are a little bit longer when you finished making the ears fill inside wool and leave a long tail for sewing and now i will sew the ears on the head Don't forget to secure the yarn after sewing. And now I will show you how to make the head for pom pom rings. So for his head, repeat the face pattern of round one and two. And then for round three, make single crochet into every stitches. And then after that, leave a long tail for sewing. Now I will show you how to make a little stem on his head. I forgot what that thing is, but to make it, insert your hook in the middle of round one and pull the tail of the magic ring. And then after that, make two or three chains. After pulling out the tail of the magic ring, insert your hook into a stitch and make two or three chains. And then after that, put the tail inside the beret again. So here, pull the tail into the head, inside the head like this. And if you don't want to 
make the stem move, that little thing move, glue the tail of the magic ring inside the head, and then after that, sew the head on the pom pom pin ring like this. I will show you how to sew the head. The yarn is a little bit dark, so you will not be able to see it well, but you can use any kinds of sewing ways you want. This is how I sewed the head on the pom pom pin ring. And then after that, I will show you how to add the face details of the pom pom pin ring, which is also the same with the cinnamon rose face. Now I will show you how to embroider this face pattern. Don't forget to secure the thread after sewing. With this ear pattern and face embroidering, you can make pom pom ring, cinnamon roll, and put charcoal. If you want to use fold or bead eyes, you can use it instead of embroidering. Now I will show you how to make the costume or the bella clover of my melody or kuromi. So to start. Repeat round 1 to 3 of the face pattern and then after that for round 4, make single crochets for 2 times and then make an increased stitch into the 3rd stitch. Here I made 2 single crochets and then after that into the 3rd stitch, make an increased stitch and repeat this pattern for 8 times. Make single crochets for 2 times and an increased stitch into the 3rd stitch. Repeat this pattern and you will get a total of 32 stitches. And when you finished round 5, no, round 4. For round 5, make single crochet into each stitch and you will get a total of 32 stitches. For round 6, make single crochets for 2 times and then after that make a decrease stitch. So I finished making 2 single crochets. And now I will make a decrease stitch. And then after that, repeat this pattern, two single crochets and a decrease stitch for eight times. And when you reach the stitch marker, you will get a total of 24 stitches. Round seven of my melody and the Kuromi will be different. For my melody, make single crochet into each stitch and then after that first stand off for Kuromi you will have to add like this thing on her bella clover and for that I will show you with the pink yarn because with the black yarn you will not be able to see the stitches well so for the round 7 of Kuromi make 10 single crochets and after that make a half double crochet And then make a double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull the yarn, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. For the triple crochet, yarn over twice, insert your hook, pull the yarn, yarn over and pull through two for three times and you got a triple crochet. And then after that, make a double crochet into the next stitch and a half double crochet into another stitch and for the rest of the stitches make single crochets for nine times that means you will have to make nine single crochets in total and then after that first and off you don't need to leave a long tail for sewing just first and off 
and weave in the ends. So now you got the Bella Clover for my melody and Kuro Me. Now I will show you how to sew the ears of my melody. The ear pattern is the same with the ear of Pom Pom Purine. And for one of the ears, you will have to sew it like this. For the second ear, you will have to sew it like this. But before you sew the second ear, close the last row of the ear so you will not see the stuffing which is inside the ears. And then after that, sew the ear on it like this. And this is how I make a bow for my melody. Leave a long tail and then wrap the yarn around your two fingers for seven times. And then after that, remove it and rub the yarn in the middle of it for 5 or 6 times. When you are satisfied with the bow, leave a long tool for sewing. And then after that, Tie the two tails together to make the bow secure and then after that sew it on my melody. Sew the bow on my melody like this and add the face details of my melody by embroidering or using the fold. Now I will show you how to make the ears for Kuromi. For round one, make four single crochets into the magic ring. After 4 single crochets, pull the tail and the ring will be closed. And for round 2, make an increased stitch in every stitch. If you have never worked with 4 single crochets in the magic ring and the rest of its pattern, it might be a little bit hard for you. But don't worry, it is worth the effort. Because only the 4 single crochets in the magic ring and the rest of its pattern can give the pointy tip for the Kuromi's ear. So yeah, for round 2, repeat making increased stitches in every stitch and you will get a total of 8 stitches. After that, for round 3 and 4, just make single crochet in every stitch. So you will get 8 single crochets for round 3 and four, uh, 8 single crochets for round 4 too. And then after that, leave a long tail for sewing. Here, use your scissors and pull the first round of the ear. Pull, no, put, push it up like this and it will become a pointy tip. You will get the ear like this. And don't stuff the Kuromi's ear. When you finish sewing the ears, use its excess yarn and then here sew the triple crochet like this so her bella clover will look exactly the same like the Kuromi's one. And then after that, secure the thread 
and for the face details of the Kurumi use fold I recommend you to use fold you can cut the shape you want and then just glue it on her face so this is how I made face details for Kurumi and my melody if you are really good at embroidering then just embroider it for the chocolate cat too I used fold to add his face details and for the Kurumi if you don't have fold you can use this way Make 8 single crochets into the magic ring and then pull the tail. Then make a slip stitch like this. And then leave a long toe for sewing. And sew it on the eyes. Eyes place like this. And for the blush. Make 4 or 5 single crochets into the magic ring and then sew it on the kuropi. For the blush, for the blush I just use fold and glue and I glue it like this. Now I will show you how to add a smiling mouth. For the Hello Kitty and its details, I fully mentioned it in my previous tutorial. If you want to use these as keychains, you can attach keychain rings or use my previous tutorial to make keychain loop. So this is the end of the tutorial. I try to put the characters as many as possible and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, then please give a big thumbs up and also click on the subscribe button so I can upload more in the future. And also don't forget to follow me on social media. And with that being said, see you all in my next video. Bye bye!